Hello everyone, welcome back to DC Conversations. Today we are in conversation with a doctor, Dr. Praveen Kumar Kulkarni, who is internal uh, medicine specialist and senior consultant at King's Hospital, Hyderabad. Hello doctor, welcome to DC Conversations. Hello, good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. So first of all, tell us what is this uh, new China virus scare all about, the HMPV? Uh, good afternoon, one and all. I am Dr. Praveen Kulkarni, Senior Consultant Physician, practicing in Kim's Hospitals in uh, 15 years. Uh, this new virus, HMPV, human metallo, hemovirus, it's an age-old, it's a, which has been discovered in 2001 in Netherlands. And it is negative sense RNA virus. And it is from the, more, uh, just the, the paramyx of day, one of the viral family. This is in the Discover 2001, but it is similarly just presents like a flu cold. Because of SARS COVID, none, most of the viruses were not detected with our PCRs, with our routine nasopharyngeal swabs. So now, as all the strains of COVID which has been presented, one, two, three, or so called strains, now the newer small strains like respiratory syncytia virus, whether you take a SARS, which is this when now MPV, HMPV, these are presenting to picture. And uh, as of late in the media, one uh, reports with health reports, we see some cases have been reported in the China and some uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. And the basically, just to conclude as a epidemiology and this, uh, this is seen first time in 2001 in Netherlands and some part of the United Kingdom and Norway and some were <coughs> recently in the China and Hong Kong. And uh, it is a virus which depicts as a flu as we see the other flu viruses. But is there reason to be worried? Like, you know, does it have any similarities or probably is it any different from COVID? Uh, see, <laughs> how it, it mainly affects and it is seen in, uh, I'll tell you the first, the variations of the season. It is seen uh, this part of an early spring, uh, winter and early spring and early summer. And uh, this is common in as young children, older children who has immune system is low, point number one. And it affects most of it, it affects in the upper respiratory tract infections. And it typically presents in the upper and few, few go into lower respiratory tract. See, whenever I say few cases, those few, the public should be oriented. Ye flu hai, mein ghar mein it will gradually come down. And one among 20 whose immune system is low and who has allergic reactions, who has a background of asthma, immunocompromised like diabetes, obesity, smoker, these may worsen. Then these havoc spreads. So, any season, any flu will have an incubation period. The concept of symptom to the sign what we see in the patient and origin. So, those incubation period of any viruses are self-limiting as we know age old. This typically starts from 5 to 9 days and 1-2 days a flu symptoms doesn't subside. So, immediate contact with the general physician or a pulmonologist or your local uh, GP should also be fine. So, to understand how does it spread. So, worrying factor of any virus is usually self-limiting or not dangerous. But since the COVID has shown a rampant in the health uh, science and affected most of the people, we should be worried. But this assay, HMPV, affects only upper respiratory act and only few who is immunocompromised lead into lower respiratory tract infection. Those few, if they understand about this pre-existing illness, how did it progress, the havoc in the society won't spread like this. So it is like a simple virus which presents as a common flu. If we understand the basic symptoms and uh, certain measures to be prevented and curative measures, there should not be a panicky situation. What are the symptoms to watch out for? Yeah, most common, like any symptom analysis in any disease, it is about percentage. We, uh, we talk usually like any virus, you take it dengue or uh, flu or symptoms, we are bothered about which is the most common. Like hum dengue bolte hai ki platelet check karo. Like in this situation, <clears throat> cough is most commonest one. 
I would grade it as 80 to 90 percent. Cough, stuffiness of nose, frequent sneezing, rhinitis, vague myalgia, which is common in all viral, redness of eyes, which is less common in this disease, but cough is the most commonest symptom, and uh, difficulty in swallowing, throat congestion, rhinitis, and rhinorrhea, seizing. Cough, ye, with productive sputum or a dry cough, it is variable with the background problems also. Like some elderly people with a, having a COPD or asthma background may have some mucoid productive sputums, but rest all may have a dry sort of cough situations where it continues for a longer time of one week or so. Yeah. And fever, uh, which starts later in one to two days, can also be a predominant next symptom where we can, which is common in viral illnesses which goes up to 100, 101. If it doesn't subside within 48 hours, then we may have to approach a nearby health practitioner. What are the treatment methods for this? Uh, any treatment includes two ways. One, investigations. How do we investigate ourselves? How do we manage ourselves? See, any viral, as I said long back, uh, in my first, uh, this one, ki, where does it come from? And the common pathway is nasopharyngeal. So RT-PCR was the first thing was detected for this get a swab and some <clears throat> immunofluorescence uh, methods to have uh, from the nasopharyngeal secretions to identify direct luminescence to be specific. RT-PCR is one secret and some blood test, blood work which show low WBC count, normal hemoglobin, normal platelet and certain raise in the eosinophilic count which is a marker of some allergic. So, RT-PCR swab method, which is the, uh, from the nasopharynx, is the most common. Treatment-wise, there is no specific antiviral. The trials and uh, there is no specific vaccination. And um, as of with other strains vaccines, we are seeing uh, anti-flu vaccines, which is not there for this. And anti-cold measures and there are some antiviral like ribavirin drug has getting on a trial there is no evidence for any anti specific uh, specific antiviral for this disease the only symptomatic cold management with some decongestants and some uh, household measures this what happens is i would like to add some household measures where people should be aware of apart from the routine uh, gp prescriptions like atric 3 sinaras cold temperature control, citrizin, we take it up. Uh, age old, around 60 years, as I said, it's uh, detected in 2001, but off late, it was in more of Ayurvedic prescriptions. They say that Tulsi, Pudina, black pepper, and Ajwain dissolve in a 200 ml of water and boiled and taken has more of something decongestant antiviral property. As we know that, this the commonest spread to this is direct contact. It's a communicable contagious disease. And it depends on the immune city, immunity, to how it spreads. So one, as since COVID, we are, we are aware about contact measures, wash your hands after touching infected patients, mask, isolation. These are the measures we follow. So these, what preparation I said about is one, which is, uh, my patients of my person, this is not some evidence based, this is my consciousness based medicine where people have benefited with local flu measures getting solved within three to four days. What's the longest period for which any patient has actually uh, been battling this particular condition? See, uh, as I tell, the incubation period is around five to nine days. Mm -hmm. Very few patients who land up into lower respiratory tract infection based on the symptoms, it may prolong till two weeks, provided his oxygenation is intact. If the oxygenation starts worsening, it may prolong it for three weeks also. Very few have been noted as a handful uh, reports are there where it landed into respiratory tract infection. And that too who landed into lower respiratory tract infections with a uh, lung failure where are only immunocompromised and uh, other risk factors were there. As per se, it only confined to a upper respiratory tract infections.
any flu spreads and uh, even when somebody is having a common viral yeah. they are asked not to uh, you know sleep together yes. probably you know but yes. there is no need for an isolation as such in, in like in case of covid Go. here right yes there is no need of isolation the simple two methods is hand washing the shake hands and the direct contact where it uh, spreads to the nasopharyngeal uh, self distancing to the infected person in the form of mask of not touching is enough rather than having an isolation sort of thing which we had in a uh, strain one first flare did not be there about any preventive methods measures uh, like any common flu we have to have whenever the symptoms comes up we self <clears throat> isolation doesn't mean that he should be isolated from his work or place the basic measures hand washing and uh, mask wearing and uh, utensils i won't say it at but uh, droplets secretions as one of the common method and uh, good food and good hydration nutrition plays an important in this part of as i said some homemade preparations and fruits like dragon papaya or uh, pomegranate <clears throat> avocado these have berries have more of antioxidant properties to increase the immune system and uh, decreases the uh, viral load they have been lads in dengue they are most of this the papaya is most common this flu these these sort of fruits and antioxidant property vegetables will help in increasing the immune system and every fever we have to have high protein diet which which increase our immune system to combat the viral load so again it comes down to immunity everything is yes, immunity yes yes because uh, same two members in a family one have a symptoms one doesn't have a symptom of severity it's all boils down to immunity and also uh, ek din ka khasi hai wo apne aap chale jata at least do some supportive manner, measures and not exposing himself to the highly crowded area and polluted areas would definitely uh, prevent in the early recovery rather yeah. than he exposing his immunity ki mujhe kuch nahi hoga main bahar aise jaunga i'll expose myself without some basic preventive measures would land up into a much more things uh, worsening things and those worsening things will will not known to be public and the opposite people he may think that the virus is dreaded enough virus won't be dreaded enough unless we give some respect for first two days mm. to self limit itself yeah. because viral itself is a self limiting disease so yeah. it depends on our precautions to rest hygiene self isolation not spreading with not maintaining enough contact measures and since there are no fatalities till date yes. i think there's no cause for uh, worry worry no 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 absolutely no over fatality see one thing i would add up on with my experience what we have been dealt almost three till even the cocktail regimen we given in three after that uh, dengue flare have come uh, srv rsv respiratory essential virus so many have come i would like to say with my experience after the covid 1 2 3 what all effects they had irrespective of after the vaccination emerging the herd immunity might be a big word but the people a response has improved immunity has improved we don't see so many fatal cases unless they avoid themselves not going to healthcare immediately the severity has drastically come down even you take it up a dengue or a chikungunya flares or any viral illnesses the patient recovery because of late i have been in a good spikes of season i have seen since march last march the people recovery rate the icu pitfalls are much more lower than 2021 21 outbreak 22 outbreak the people immune system have if you ask me the scientific background about it this is my observation of last year or so of last 2022 to 2024 or starting of 25 i would say that the immune system has patients they respond to treatment faster and the recovery rate is much more better and uh, coming to dengue because it common envelope there that the response of those patients getting complicated are very less and the response to the basic treatment of hydration they responded well this is what we have seen because 
seen so many outbreaks of viral every year one season the mortality were very high you take it up 16 17 18 but post uh, covid era whatever uh, the three years two years we faced up it has been a very good recovery of patients even the high risk patients immunocompromised patients have responded well that's good to hear yeah that's what and sorry to ask the hoarseness is one common component where there were so many trials observed hoarseness of voice is one more thing where we have to look up at up of the cuff and rhinitis and fatigue mm. hoarseness is frequently getting seen in young adult people thank you doctor thank you so much for talking to us thank you